Hey guys, so this is uh, just a quick video on the uh, one of the Viper remote starts. Um, this kit specifically is the 7856V remote. Um, this is the one that comes with one two-way remote and one one-way remote. So, <clears throat> kit's pretty awesome. It has a great range. Uh, however, I use mine quite a damn bit and uh, i got to replace the batteries every two, three months in it but the unlock in it uh, has stopped working as well as it stopped beeping when I push the buttons because every time you push the button it's supposed to beep back and forth so <clears throat> but right now like before I'd push the unlock button and basically it just wouldn't even the light wouldn't go off it wouldn't send the command it wouldn't do anything but all the rest of them would work so I started to think that maybe it was just uh, the button either on the motherboard or on the rubber that was going bad but as you can see you can take this piece out and kind of troubleshoot it's not any harder to push than the other ones and you're still getting your feedback so it tells me it's not the motherboard or really the button going out so it took me a while of playing with this to figure out what was going on so, I think part of it actually is, like I'm pressing it right there, but I'm not pressing it real firm. Got to hit it kind of just right. So, I uh, ended up putting a little piece of uh, the package. I just put new, brand new batteries in it. And I pulled, uh, there's like a thick sticker that was on the battery package. And I put a couple layers right there to give it just a little bit more thickness when pressing that button. And then additionally, when I put it back together, it still wasn't working right. And it still wasn't beeping with my commands. So, uh, I wasn't getting the uh, sound return. So, anyways, uh, I started playing with it. And then I realized when I got it all back together, if I flex the plate. So, this is the normal like position right here. It would be like that. So, I noticed that if I basically, with this finger pulled up towards me and press down into the remote with the unlock button that it would work fine. And so I opened it back up and realized that there's, I don't know if the case is just getting wore out or what, but there's a little bit of free play between the motherboard and the case. So I decided to try a little experiment. You guys are right so sorry, the camera's gonna be sideways. Tilt your head. <laughs> So what I decided to do is I got a little of that same packaging that I used uh, on the inside. Put it right there. And watch that function button too. That function button is not held in place, so you can lose that thing. So it'll pop out before you know it. So I basically just slid this in there just a little bit. So that's going to press it up against the back plate just a little bit harder and take up just a little bit of free play. So you want to make sure it's just right so it's the case still closes but it's still pressing up just a little bit more. So, voila, works flawless. Got my beep function on everything. Good as new. Perfect. So, anyways, so that's a way, uh, basically an okey fix if you're having the same problem with this remote. Because uh, uh, I tried to look up anything and uh, on it and I couldn't find anything. So I figured, hey, might as well make a YouTube video out of it. So it's nice to make people's life a little bit easier sometimes. So uh, anyways, I'm sure I'll have more videos to come. Check them out.